Soviet Union continues to expand in both military might and political influence. Soviet Russia holds a commanding position in the future destiny of the world. But it was the United States that held the secret to atomic power. Mr. Trump declares we must have atomic power. The flags of freedom fly all over the world. This superiority would be short-lived, however, as Stalin was already at work on a plan of his own. While searching for uranium on a tiny island off the southeast coast of the Soviet Union, Russian engineers discovered E-99, a powerful and unprecedented source of energy. Seeing an opportunity for further world domination, Stalin authorizes unlimited development funds to explore the capacities of the substance. Project director Viktor Barasov establishes an island research station, Katorga 12. For his groundbreaking research, he receives the Order of Lenin. When Nikita Khrushchev succeeds Stalin, he accelerates the program, pressuring Barasov to begin field experiments. However, not only is E-99 capable of delivering unimagined power, it is also incredibly volatile. Yet Barasov is pressured to begin tests. The disaster has no known survivors. Moscow buries the installation effectively wiping it from the map. 2010, a US spy satellite flying over the area is blinded by a radiation surge. Fearing another Chernobyl, and suspicious of Moscow secrecy, the reconnaissance mission over Katorga 12 is ordered by the Pentagon. Captain Reiko. You are Captain Reiko, are you not? Don't look so surprised. Your name's right on your uniform. America's charming pension for individuality. Now, I have some questions for you. Name, rank, and serial number. That's all you get from us, Ivan. Check your Geneva Convention handbook. I did away with that little inconvenience years ago. <laughs> We are officers. 
officers in the United States military. I want to talk to someone in our embassy. I think you'll find that impossible for a number of reasons. Our embassy, right now! That's better. How is it you haven't aged a day in 50 years? There is only one explanation. The TMD, where is it? Run, Renko. Head straight to the doorway. Nathaniel Renko. My god, you're here. Just like Mir-12 said. You must have a lot of questions, but we don't have a lot of time. Quickly, Sarah this way. Scott. We are Mir-12. Our mission is to reveal the truth that's been hidden from the entire world. In the 1950s, a military research base was built on the island of Katorga 12. To this day, the government denies its existence. That is a lie. According to top secret documents we've uncovered, the base was the site of research involving the mineral E-99. The E-99 research program was headed by two men. Dr. Viktor Barasov, a top researcher in the field of quantum physics. He didn't live to see the outcome of his work. Reports say he was killed in an unexplained laboratory accident. This man stepped in to lead the program after Barasov's death. He went on to lead Russia in a war for world domination. A war won using super-powered weaponry developed at Katorga 12. Today, we know him as Chancellor Nikolai Demichev, leader of the world government. The events surrounding Demichev's rise to power are still a mystery. Our organization is in possession of a journal that claims Demichev is a fraud. It raises many questions about Katorga 12. What happened there to put Chancellor Demichev in power? What could have caused so much destruction and taken so many lives? Evidence points to this structure on Katorga 12, the Singularity. What is the Singularity? The journal claims one man will lead us to the answers. His name is Captain Nathaniel Renko. It is our mission to locate Captain Renko and help him achieve his goal. We are mere 12. We will reveal the truth.
first record the test of a human being moving into a rift. Now, I am going to record my observations as I move through. I expect I will exit at Rift 6, which seems connected to this one, and has appeared near the docks. I am walking in now. A slight tingling feeling, even through the suit. I am not perceiving anything visual out of the ordinary. And as you see, no noticeable... Turn it off! My teleportation experiments have progressed as planned. The first step was accomplished and I have determined how to alter an item so that it is out of phase without time. Unfortunately, locating the item once it was shifted became a major problem, but I created the chronolite to address that difficulty. In this test, an object is shifted into an alternate dimension, rendering it invisible. Now, with the aid of the chronolite, the object can be seen. It can also pull faced items back into our time. The chronolite is a huge step forward. Once it has been miniaturized, it will be an incredible benefit to my teleportation research. Praise the deeds of Greg Lenin and Star. From the moment I invented the TMD, Demetchev wanted it. He demanded I hand it over for him to use in his research. When I refused, he had me and everyone else who wouldn't cooperate labeled as traitors. If it weren't for you, I would have been killed along with everyone else. Demetchev was obsessed with the power and possibilities of the singularity. But a few months after it came online, there was a terrible accident. The Singularity exploded, killing thousands instantly. But they were the lucky ones. Those who survived were left to a fate worse than death. The E-99 radiation mutated every living thing on the island, including humans. The island was quarantined and abandoned, but not before E-99 had been effectively mass-produced and implemented in everything from microwaves and vehicles to weapons more powerful than America's atomic bomb. On the heels of this success, Demichev was able to quickly rise through party ranks, preaching all the while that Russia had a technological advantage it must use quickly and ruthlessly. And Premier Khrushchev agreed. Russia launched a preemptive strike against the United States, devastating its entire East Coast with a single E-99 bomb. Simultaneous attacks were also launched across Europe. Germany, France, Great Britain. None could stand against the E-99 weapons of the USSR's troops. Within six months, the entire world was under Khrushchev's control. But not for long. Demichev used his growing number of supporters to oust Khrushchev and install himself as Chancellor for life.
Captain Renko. Thank heavens you're all right. Here, let me help you. You did it. You got the E-99 bomb. We still have hope. This is it. This is where we set history right again. Use the tool to put this unit to open a rift to 1955. Then, destroy the reactor with the E-99 bomb. Once the singularity is destroyed, the truth of history will be restored. Go on now, Captain. Good work. singularity when all I had to do was simply rebuild it. Now, give me the TMD. Don't, Renko. We're missing something, but we can figure it out. We can still set things right. <laughs> Only the victors rewrite the history books. And you, lost. Only the victors rewrite the history books? That's it! The Singularity is not the problem. You went back in time and saved Demichev from being killed in the burning building. Remember? He's what you changed, and he's what you have to change back. You cannot let Demichev live! <clears throat> it won't work. You've already tried that. And failed. Don't you remember who else was there, Captain Renko? Which means the only way to correct the timeline is for you to stop yourself. You mean kill himself? You're asking a man to sacrifice himself for something you've been mistaken about. How many times now? I'm not sure you're a reliable authority, Beresov. Renko, don't listen to him. You can save the world. So you say. But Captain... Think about what you were before all of this. And Rome and the Hive. I can offer you a whole other life. Things you could only imagine. At your fingertips. Give me the TMD. And help rule the world. Is this a world you want to be a part of, Renko? Look around you! Look at all the suffering this man has caused! No visionary leader is without his critics. Renko, he is not a leader. He's a mass murderer, a dictator. You must stop him at all costs. Use the DNA of the singularity. Travel back in time and kill yourself. <laughs> well, that certainly sounds like an attractive offer. Or you can prove your loyalty to me by killing Beresov. And I will grant you unlimited power. Make your choice, Captain. No, Captain! Well done, Captain Renko. I see you have what it takes to rule the world. Jump. 
Chancellor Demichev is the only survivor of Katorka 12. Any mention of Barasov is wiped from history. With the TMD at your disposal, you and Demichev now control the singularity. Katorga 12 becomes pivotal in Demichev's final push to remove all remnants of rebellion against his leadership. As commander of the military, you forge Demichev's forces into an unstoppable war machine. You even train some of the island's creatures in combat. You use them as a first wave assault in all major battles. Millions are forced into slave labor. With the full power of the singularity and you at the helm of the military, any pockets of resistance around the world are weeded out. Mir-12 proves difficult at first, but with the TMD by your side, they do not stand a chance. In the years that follow, tensions build within the ruling Russian dictatorship. Your knowledge of advanced weaponry and control of the TMD allows your support to grow. Some believe you are more powerful than Chancellor Demichev himself. Demichev recognizes this and begins a secret weapons development program in the former United States. There are even rumors he's created his own TMD. Conflict seems inevitable as the world once again finds itself in the midst of a cold war between two superpowers.